Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tip on how to use normal LiPo batteries in your uh, Spectrum transmitter. Uh, here I have the DX8, but I believe this also works on the DX6, DX7S, uh, the DX9, uh, the, even the DX18 I believe as well. Uh, as long as they have the same connector as the uh, battery, which I'll show you now. This is a really simple uh, modification, if you even can call it that, because it's so simple. Um, so this basically works if your transmitter takes just this kind of plug, if you can see that. Uh, just a standard spectrum plug. I did some research and I believe all the ones I just listed, you can do this on. But basically what this mod does, and it's not even a mod like I said, um, you're just basically going to shove the JST connector into the same port because the hole spacing or pin spacing or whatever you want to call it on the batteries is exactly the same and it fits right in there with no problem, no forcing or anything. And since transmit the transmitters are designed to work on 2S, uh, you just shove it in there, turn it on, and you're good to go. So uh, I just use this Genzace thing I have laying around. Um, can use even a really small battery because transmitters don't really draw much uh, so even this thing which is only 370 milliamp hours that should be good for probably a couple hours um, but like I said I use this thing I've uh, I've been using this for like a few months and I've only had to charge it once so far uh, which I just did so uh, a couple months of flying uh, but I haven't been out that often but anyways way better than this uh, battery this is real crummy um, and also at least with this DX8 I have here um, when I uh, with the charger for it what happens is it just com keeps on charging it it doesn't stop uh, which is kind of surprising me because my old DX6i um, that actually stops charging once the nickel metal hydride batteries in it are full and this one doesn't and I think that is because it supports 2S LiPo, so I think you can charge it um, directly just through the, the jack here um, and charge up your LiPo, and then it won't fry that. But uh, it doesn't really take into account nickel metal hydrides because you won't blow these up, unlike LiPos. Um, so the, the battery life wasn't great to begin with, and then after overcharging it like four times overnight, um, that just basically killed it so now I only get like half an hour an hour out of that and that's awful so this I don't even know how many hours I get off of it and it's not even that big uh, you can fit a lot more battery in this compartment anyways uh, so the only thing you gotta keep in mind is polarity um, because it isn't you know designed for the plug even though it does fit uh, so just make sure you get that right for the DX8 at least uh, red is right so if you're just putting it in from the back like you would i don't know why you do it upside down um red is right i don't know about the other transmitters because i don't have them so that's all there is to it uh so hopefully this video um helped you guys out and hopefully save a couple bucks instead of buying the real expensive you know lipo packs they sell you can just shove any two as you have in there and also um you know, you can still use your 2S's for whatever else you use them for instead of, you know, putting out on a new connector um, or, like I said, buying the ones at Spectrum Cells and wasting a bunch of money. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, some added benefits, of course, are extended run time. Uh, you can just swap them out with any 2S you have laying around if they die. Uh, especially useful for at the field. Uh, and you can keep using the stock one as well. Um, as your main one or backup or whatever. Um, also, makes your transmitter lighter. That's nice because uh, obviously these things are ancient technology nowadays and are heavy. Uh, and something I noticed, this is real subtle on mine, but for the DX8 at least, uh, it really makes it a lot more level than it was before. Uh, maybe by only like five degrees, but it made a noticeable difference uh, and it's a lot more comfortable and more natural hold now so added bonus there so anyways hopefully this video was helpful to some of you guys out there 
and thank you for 